Welcome to the ultimate thermometer test. This is some slush from melting snow out outdoors. It's, it's just started th thawing and uh, put some uh, some some slush in, in into this beaker. This should be exactly zero degrees. Now these are temperature measuring devices. This is a, a, a good old mercury thermometer. A good old old. Uh, and this is a, a meat thermometer for uh, measuring temperature inside inside uh, meat. Is designed for that pur pur purpose. Uh, this is this is a type uh, type K thermo thermo couple. Measure it uh, connected with the, this uh, multimeter, 11 degrees. It's a little bit un uh, too low. Uh, and this one is a. This is a Type S thermo thermo couple. Normally not intended for use with cold. It's normally intended for very hot objects and hot to 1600 degrees. And this is an, an infrared thermo thermometer, just for measuring the 12.4, 11.5. Okay, okay. Then we will now now put all the all the, the sensors into the slush. Well, it appears that the Mercury thermometer shows minus one to zero degrees. Mercury thermometer. The mercury thermometer shows minus one to zero degrees. The, uh, the meat thermometer is also minus one, so it's a little bit. Uh, deviation from the real value. The type S thermocouple uh, is minus two de degrees. It's also a little bit, uh, a little bit off the off the real value. And this one is rather good. Yeah, now it lowers a little bit. Zero degrees minus zero. So I pointed at the. It's a slush, it's a zero de uh, degrees. So a pyrometer can be used for, can be anyway, can be used for, uh, I have to point it to the, into the snow, can be used for uh, such purposes. Um, this is minus two, the type S thermocouple is minus two, that's not a bad uh, value for uh, such a, 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 a low yield uh, thermocouple. The meat thermometer is one degree too low, and the, the mercury thermometer is is about correct. It's zero degrees. <laughs>